ladies, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So sticking with my theme for April, I'm going to do a makeup that is very skin focused, where it's just all about your skin glowing and looking vibrant without a lot of heavy makeup. We are going to use foundation, but it's going to be more of a sheer foundation so that really it's all about just having this translucent, beautiful um, skin without like, you know, like right now we've got a lot of eyeliner. You're seeing because of the masks, right? It's all about eyeliner. And then the opposite look of that is that um, it's a very sheer eye, very sheer skin with maybe color on the lip. And that's really the look I'm going to go for today. And I'm going to focus on um, some per some products I just purchased, which I'm very excited about, with a brand called Kojen Do. So Kojen Do is a Japanese brand, um, of course, based out of Tokyo. It's been around for about 30 years and really started in the film industry uh, because it used to be that the foundations and powders in the industry were very heavy. They had to be um, because the cameras were not as sharp. Now we have 4K camera, um, HD cameras, and so everything needs to be really able to sink into your skin and be much more um, natural. What you see with the naked eye is what the camera sees. So it's a very different vibe. And so Kojendo has done a great job of keeping up with the times. And today I'm going to really focus on two of their products that I've bought. Um, one is their pressed powder, and I'm going to take it out of the box here in a minute. And the other one is a moisture foundation. So um, if you watch my channel, you know, for older women, I really do recommend staying with a tinted moisturizer or um, a light to medium coverage, very moisture rich foundation. Unless you have oily skin, and I have done videos on oily skin, um, but we want to look um, very hydrated. We don't want to use a lot of heavy powders on our skin. So I'm very excited to sample these. I have actually not tried these. Normally when I think it's come in the mail, I'm like tucking my fingers in it straight away. Uh, I did not for this one, which is um, shocking. I know, um, don't fall off your chair. Um, but I'm excited today to open these up and try them out. So you are going to be a part of that, which is very exciting. So, okay. So before we get started, please visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com. Please use the code SB10 for everything in my store for 10% off. And also hit the bell on the far left-hand corner here to be alerted every single time I upload a video. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, after all that, let's get going. Okay, before we get started, I do want to have kind of a theme conversation here, which I would love your feedback on um, and just kind of where you're at with this. And that is um, just staying positive when the news is so gloomy and there's so many things that are going on that are sort of frightening. Although I feel like the world has sort of started shifting into more being more positive. Um, it's been a very challenging time. I mean, here in Boulder, a couple of weeks ago, we had a shooting, a mass shooting, um, and it was about 10 minutes away from my house. Um, which really was super scary. My, you know, all of us were uh, very frightened. My ex-husband live used to live right there and walk to that store every day. Um, the King Supers that was where the gunman gunned down. I think it was ten people, um, which is unbelievably like it's so shocking because Boulder is such kind of a peaceful, quiet kind of a place. Um, you don't really have these kind of things happen in Boulder. So it was very, very scary. Um, my ex-husband especially was um, really shocked, taken aback. But, um, you know, and I have a lot of friends that live in that area. So, you know, it's been a rough time. So I think staying positive and not having like a pie in the sky kind of unrealistic positivity, but more of a grounded, um, everything's going to be okay. Like we're okay. Let's just focus on the good, focus on what is what is right in our lives, especially being grateful, I think is super important. Um, so I'd love to hear your feedback on how you're staying positive um, throughout kind of all of the pandemic and all the things associated with that. Um, and I think actually taking care of ourselves and looking beautiful is one of the ways we can really stay positive. Um, I always feel better when I, you know, curl my hair and do a little bit of makeup. It just kind of brightens my mood. So that's the theme for today. So having said that, let's start with great skin, because if we are going to focus on great skin with Kojen Do, then we need to have great skincare. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of, uh, let's do this. Okay. I've got like all, if you saw my desk, it's like scattered. I should take a picture of it and post it on my, my Instagram, the Instagram. I'm, I'm the beauty shaman, by the way, go ahead and subscribe. I do post all kinds of crazy pictures. All right. So, um, I'm going to do transdermal C serum by Truth Treatments. This is my favorite serum. Put another one. All right, so you, all you need is two drops, believe it or not. That's all you need. I know, it's crazy. And then two squirts of Hyaluronic Mineral Hydrator, um, which helps to plump up your skin. Really awesome before you do your makeup. And then two squirts of Biomimetic Mist to help the efficacy of the products to really get in there. 
We're never going to put this everywhere. And you'll notice an immediate difference. It immediately plumps up my skin. And since we're really focusing on skin, I'm going to say I love Truth Treatments. Such a great product. But look at that. My skin just got super duper happy and kind of plumps it up a little bit, which I love, right? Who doesn't need a little plumping? Okay, so keeping with the skin idea, we're going to do a little bit of Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Primer. So this just, again, keeps your skin really, um, really kind of, sh you know, healthy looking and not shiny because we don't want shiny, but we do want our makeup to stay on, which is what this does. But it also adds a little bit of a glow. I don't, I don't use matte things on older women. I tend, I mean, as far as um, like primers, I, I want, I want the skin to have a slight dewiness, which is also why I... I'm looked into Cogendo because their powder that we are going to use um, has it. It's a diff it diffuses fine lines, but it also is got a little bit of a lovely, um, healthy glow to it, which I love. But it also absorbs oil. I mean, it's just a really cool powder, so I'm excited to give it a go. All right, so let's um, let's do a little bit of foundation. So the foundation we're going to use is the Moisture Foundation with Cogendo. All right, so this foundation is with the My Fanshee line. I'm, I'm sure I'm saying this wrong. If you know how to say it, please spell it out down, down below. Uh, but this is the Moisture Foundation. Um, so this is lovely. It's, um, it's botanically based. It's like 80% botanicals, which I love. I love, I love. So I'm going to put just a little bit. We shouldn't have to have very much here. This is very, um, very, very, very concentrated um, product. I was a little worried that it was a bit light. Actually, I think it's okay. We'll see how that sets. It might be a tiny bit light on me. So this is a really, you need very, very small amount of this foundation. I would say I put too much on my hand. I probably should have used two like squirts of it, like almost like two drops. It really blends out. Um, you don't need a whole lot, which is really great. You want that in your products. Um, I think it might be a tiny light, so I might need to go a shade darker than what I bought, but that's okay. We're gonna make do. Um, and I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer. So I'm gonna use Amazing Concealer here. Really love this concealer. And I'm just gonna use this to brighten around my eye area. So I'm just gonna tap it right in here. Because I just wanna brighten this up. And concealer is one of the best ways you can do that. Your concealer should set nicely into your skin. You really don't wanna see it. I don't. I like to match my skin or go slightly lighter. And I have a bit of browns right here. Nice. See what that did? Isn't that pretty? And I also go a little bit here around my nose. And I also put a bit on my nose just to highlight down the middle. I have a little age spot right here, but I'm going to ignore that right now. But you can use your concealer. What is on my finger? All right, so what I love about this is that my skin is really showing through. So I do have foundation on. It's not a heavy coverage foundation. Got a little bit of concealer, but you can see my skin like it's glowing underneath, which is really what you want. You want that very fresh skin look. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of the Cogendo um, pressed powder here. This is one of their top selling items. This also contains, it contains light diffusing properties, but it also contains what's called T3 oil, which is one of their specialities um, that they put in their products. So this is what it looks like when you take it out with my fingerprints all over it. Okay, I got rid of some of the fingerprints, but anyway, you can see just beautiful packaging, right? It's just gorgeous. And then you open it up, comes with a little puff if you'd like to use that. And then this is the color. So it's a lovely light rose, which is going to give a bit of an iridescent. Obviously, this is for a lighter skinned person, medium to light skinned person. And then there's a really light color here, which I think you can just blend these together or you can use them separately and put this more around your eyes to brighten your eye area. So it's a lovely mix to have there. Um, I'm actually going to take this brush and I'm just going to take this color. I'm just going to lightly get the shiny bits, okay? Normally I powder when I'm done with everything else, but I'm really wanted to try this. <sighs> I couldn't stop myself, sorry. So it took down the shine, but you can still see my skin through it, which is a sign of a really phenomenal powder. Um, and I, I, you know, because I'm a professional makeup artist, I'm always going to go for um, just really great products because I want people to look great on camera. So, um, oh my God, 
like it's so beautiful i'm so excited all right i'm now i'm going to dip into the white part here i just want to try this a little bit just to see what it does if i want to use this as a highlight yeah look at that you can use it as a highlight isn't that great so that's like a two in one okay i have a crush on this now like watch i'm going to use it in every video now <laughs> I'll be like, oh my God, let me get my coach dough. It's so awesome. All right, so in sticking with the bare skin look, we're gonna do a little bit of eyebrow, um, just enough to give it a bit of a lift. Okay, so I'm gonna do just a very cool brown. With my highlighted, look at, you can see it, right? You can totally see how highlighted that is. But it's very sheer. Oh my God. I'm so in love with this stuff. Good. So that like pulled my eyes out and opened them up, which is what we're going for here. I'm going to do a little bit of contour, but not a lot. Again, this is a skin look, but we don't want to look flat. And sometimes contour or bronzer can really work for that. Um, I'm going to just use bronzer because this is a summertime look. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown medium bronzer. Looks like this. So it's got a bit of red in it. And I'm just going to put it on the outskirts of my face. Not too much. If you have a really bony, angular face, I would say be careful with this. It can really make you look more thin um, in the face if you have a thin face. If you have a round face, obviously, no biggie. Like, I love this. This is just skin with just a little bit of bronzer. I mean, look how that that's just, I think that looks so pretty. Um, so I am actually going to go to do lips first because I want to get a nice rich berry because everything else is going to be very light and diffused. So the lipstick I'm going to go with is my Jane Iredale lipstick. It is called Joanna and it's a lovely berry color. Look at that. I think it's so beautiful. And we're going to clean my lip brush off. Okay, so I'm just going to toss a little bit of this on and then we're going to do liner after so it's a, it's much more of a diffused line. That's so pretty. I'm going to do a little lip, lip, uh, bleh. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of lip liner. This is the color Berry with Lip Bar. And I'm just going to lightly use this. I don't want a liner look. I don't, I want this look to be very light with color. I darken up in the inner corners. If you take this, darken it up, it helps your lips to look puffier. Who doesn't want puffy lips, right? And now I'm going to add a little bit of lip gloss. This is Boy Bait by MAC. So lovely. It's got color, but it has that springtime shimmer that we love so much. I'm going to head into blush. I'm going to do a little bit of a pinky blush. So again, my lips are going to be the main focus here, not the eyes, as you see so much of right now. So I'm going to use a MAC cream blush, and this is called Blush Please. That's what this is called. Okay, it's a light rose. All right, so it looks like this. So it's just a light rose. That's all I'm going for here. And just a little bit, just kind of around the eye area, very soft. I do like cream blushes. I don't use them a ton. Um, but since we're going for a real skin look, I think a cream is definitely in order. And I put a little on my brow bone there. All right, so on to eyes. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use this palette, my Lorac Very Loved and Dirty, sorry, palette. But, oh my God, look how dirty this is. I think I'm a little motivated now to clean it now that I've shown it to you and it's so gross. <laughs> so we're going to do this color all over. It's kind of a sheer gold. And I'm going to do a taupe in the crease. We're just going for simple, okay? So I'm going to use my flat-headed brush because I really want to get a concentration of this color. Um, the flatter and the stiffer the hairs on your brush, the more concentrated the color. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so I forgot to turn the sound on when I put these on. So I'm just going to explain quickly what I did. So I dipped my, my brush into the taupe, and then I just slowly but surely work it in like this, just slowly but surely get that really worked in there. So you get that, um, the color that I want and the density that I want by going at it slowly, because this is a taupe, so it's a really soft kind of brown color, taupey color. 
which is really going to make my lips pop and it's going to make my eyes look um, more diffused, but it's going to make them look like they, they don't, they don't disappear. Okay. Now I'm going to use the same exact taupe and I'm going to go underneath my eye. So we're really surrounding your eye with taupe. Most, it depends on the skin color that you have. Um, you take your skin color and you go about one to two shades darker with the brown that you're using. So the darker your skin, the darker you go, right? The lighter your skin, the lighter you go. But I love this taupe for um, lighter skin people. Works really well. But if I had a darker complexion, I would just go for a darker brown. I'm going to take the taupe and run it a little bit over the top as well. Just a bit, right in my right in my lash line. Okay, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna deviate. Just in that lash line. But see, that just surrounds it, it's super pretty. All right, so I'm gonna use the Jane Iredell Dark Topaz Liner, it's a gel liner. Just gonna apply that just very softly to the outer edges. Right, just press it in to that eye line. Very soft. But it has some density to it, right? Like I definitely want my eyes to not vanish. I know I said I was just gonna keep my eyes neutral, but I kind of can't help it. Like this lovely pink, you know, grapey color or bird or berry color can't get my words out and then this color look how pretty that would be together so i'm going to just dip my brush in that and i'm going to put a tiny bit just on that outer edge just to pull those two together a bit look at that nice okay mascara Okay, ladies, so this is my springtime um, berry lip, but everything else very skin, um, very sheer, translucent. We used a lot of creams and iridescent colors and softer around the eyes, very diffused. That's very in for spring. Um, I know our lipsticks have really been on a hiatus because of the... Um, you know, panels we have to wear across our face. But, you know, restaurants are starting to open. We can go out. We can show our lipstick. How amazing. So that's kind of what this look is for. And, of course, my highlighted guest is Ko Jen Do, which, I've, as you can tell, I am seriously in love with. Um, the powder especially. I love the foundation, too. But the powder, I think I'm, I'm going to use it on everybody from now on. In any case, I hope this has been helpful. Please write down below about positivity and in what ways you're really staying positive. Thank you so much for watching The Beauty Shaman.